What's up, everybody? This is PSP Drummer bringing you an HTC Evo and a review with a launcher uh, app. Um, I like to do a lot of apps on it. I love to see what's up, what's new. This one I've had for a few days now, and uh, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, usually in the HTC Evo 4G, the I guess you could call it the first generation um, by Sprint. You could say they have pretty good uh, uh, launcher. All right, so with Go Launcher X, um, you can do many, many screens. Um, with it, you can add. But anyways, this is what the default looks like. The default looks like um, the background is actually still part of the other one that I had on there, um, but still works pretty good. Let's start with what the apps look like. The apps, it comes up like that. I already have advanced task la uh, launcher, killer, whatever, but it comes with one already in it, so you can you know, erase what you got going on. It tells you how much memory um, you can lock some apps if you want. It tells you what's, what you recently, recently went to, um, and then all your apps which you can do sideways. Um, you can change the animation on it if you want, but you pretty much do everything the same. You can hold on to it, place it wherever you want to, um, move it if you want to. If you want all your apps that you like on one page, you can do that too. All your screens, you can change the anim It looks like a, inside of a box. You can change that too, where it flips, turns, kicks, disappears, reappears. Um, and you can continuously r rotate. But check this out, once you pinch close, this is all your home screens. Here's your, the green one here is the main home, so when you hit home, it'll go to that screen right there, which I have the time. Actually, that's not the time, there it is. Which would be the time. So if you hit home, come back to there. Pinch that again. You can see this plus sign, you can add more home screens which is really, really cool. So you can keep adding as much as you want. Um, I think that's as far as it goes to. You can delete them however you want to, however you want it set up. Uh, right now I have it set up to what I like. I like the clock in the middle, um, all my texting and email and all that stuff, Dropbox on one side, and the other side, obviously social media, cameras, pictures all in one. GPS and then music and video all in one. Uh, that's and then calendar. I got a lot of stuff going on. Anyways, I thought this was really cool. I thought I'd share it with you. Um, it gives you like gestures. So if you swipe down, instead of pulling down on this notification bar, you can just put your finger and push push down, and it'll bring it down for you wherever you're at. <clears throat> Swipe down real slow if you want. And then up brings up your, you know, all the stuff you can do with it. Go store, which is the same as the go play store. Um, effects, meaning how, if, if you want the names on, on the apps, if you want them in bold, if you want them skinny, if you want them in different font. Um, I mean, you can edit, talked about the home screen already, wallpaper, themes, um, themes. Go back to the theme I had right here. Apply, and you can see it quickly changes everything for you. One of the things too that I thought was cool: not only do you have home screens that you can go to, but you also have an extra bar down here where you can add extra apps. So your apps that you want to get to really fast, just put them down here, along with your screen up here. So you have you can put your widgets in all your apps. If you have every page filled with widgets, you have an a bar with you can put apps that you want that don't have widgets or do whatever double double it up if you if you want I mean that's pretty much it one of the oh one of the cool things that really sold me on it was the lock it's called go locker and you basically oh yeah I forgot about that you can actually turn your phone wait I'll come back to that in a second you can actually turn your phone and do the screens sideways which 
and a regular Android, some phones don't really do that. Um, and this one does. I thought that was really cool. You can de definitely lock it to keep it upright if you want, um, but that's up to you, of course. So let's check out the lock screen. I really like this one. It's, it was a theme. You can get it separate. You can get whatever lock screen you want. It's called Go Locker. Gives you the time. It, there's a little glitch here I, I thought was kind of weird, but it doesn't bother anything. But anyways, here, there's your lock key. You know, instead of swipe, swiping this way like usually what it is, you can actually take it and put it to whatever you want. Phone, if you want to go straight, straight to the phone, if you want to go straight to your camera, um, over here straight to your text messaging, or just straight up unlock. And you can feel it vibrate. Now let's go to camera. It'll take you straight to your camera, whichever one you want. Or, I thought it was really cool, just unlock it, it takes you straight home. Um, it changes all the apps for you, so you, you know, changes the theme, of course, that's the theme of all the apps. Circle, cool little fly thing. But anyways, you can, I thought this Go Launcher X was really cool, because you could do a whole bunch of stuff um, with it. And pretty much your regular launcher doesn't do, so I thought that was kind of cool. It made everything a lot easier to get to, um, quicker stuff to, you know, finger swipes, um, easier apps or apps to get easier access to. Um, and that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to subscribe up above, right about there. Um, if you like the video, right down here. If, uh, if you want to give it a thumbs up, that'd be really cool. Um, but I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your new Go Launcher app. If you want to hear any more about different apps or anything, just comment in the section below. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.